Hey everyone, Dan Heilman here, and today I'm going to make a video on how to upgrade runes, what you should be looking for, and basically just kind of the process. Right now we have a rune upgrade tournament active. Uh, Lord Crest out of nowhere came wrecking in here. That's why he was saying sneaky sneaky in Discord. Okay, I got it. All right, so you only need to upgrade like one rune to 12 to get these rewards, but I want to just kind of walk through the process of what I do when I'm looking at runes. Okay, so the very first thing I do is I go into whoever and I'm going to look by each category. You can see when you're looking here what type of runes I'm upgrading, right? So Battle Wound are kind of niche. Um, I really only use those on King Arthur, but Self Healing are decent. Headcracker are very good. Squall are very good. Spines are very good. These are just a better version of the self healing runes. Um, shield runes are situational. Um, you can see this is a solid rune, so that's why I'm, I've been I upgraded that one. Um, and harvest runes are also very strong. And heat runes are kind of okay. You can see the only reason I upgraded this one was because. I had some very solid rolls to begin with. Okay, so step one, I go through each category, right? So I usually start on the speed rune, and I'm gonna go through here, and I'm gonna look at all these runes and see if I have anything that's just absolutely amazing. So I look at the harvest first. I look at, you know, basically all the runes I just mentioned. I'm gonna click through them <clears throat> and see if I have anything amazing. Um, that one was almost good. This one's not bad. Uh, I don't have a good set of oppression runes, so maybe I should... Uh... Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find something I see is dec decent here. So this means I have... It's weird because I either have two rolls in one of these, I think. So that should mean I have two in HP or two in physical tech. I'm not quite sure. Let's find better examples. Okay, so I don't have anything that's like amazing drop dead in here, right? So, all right, let's move on to the next slot. So nothing amazing there. I'm only looking for really good runes, right? So this one's pretty solid, physical attack speed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it up to three, okay? So I'm gonna come here. Uh, I'm end game, so I don't even look at my epic runes. I just use them for food, excuse me. All right, so I got HP. On an HP rune, so this is solid. I got physical attack, I got speed, and I got HP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue rolling it until I get something I don't like, right? So let's keep going. We're gonna take it up here to six and see what we get. Okay, so I got effect, what did I get? Effect resistance. So, kind of annoying, you know, if this was more accuracy on an effect accuracy rune, that'd be cool. Um, so, I might just stop rolling this one. You know, it's depending on what you have on your account. And I'm just going to continue this process, right? So, think about the rune type you're using, right? So, if I'm using a squall rune, right, I'm going to want damage stats on my squall rune. So, if I'm coming through here... And I'm looking at Squall runes. You know, that's HP, some defense, not the best. Um, that one's not the best. Not the best. Do I got any good runes in here? So, if I'm looking at Headcracker runes, I probably want stuff like speed on them. If I'm looking at Squall runes, I probably want things like crit damage and crit chance on them. If I'm looking at self-healing runes, um, you know, I probably want HP. I kind of use self-healing runes just because they seem to be very common. So I do have a lot of decent self-healing runes. Um, so basically try to match them up with the rune that you're actually rolling, right? I seem to not have a lot of good... Uh, runes ready to roll up i i usually kind of level them up when i see them just so i don't kind of lose them you'll notice that i have all of these runes here that are like level three right so 
This one, I had magic attack speed and crit damage. And it was a crit damage rune, so I was like, sweet. And then I got some effect resistance, and now I'm kind of like, meh. I'll kind of leave it there for a while in case I need it. Like this one, I had a headcracker with a huge... I had magic attack and crit chance, crit rate. So then I rolled, and I got more magic attack. So this is a solid rune. This is something I'd keep on rolling. Um, let's keep going here. So this one, I had crit rate and HP and physical, and I rolled effect resistance, and then... Kind of just sat there um kind of the same thing here i had these these top three stats and i rolled i rolled effect resistance and it's kind of like meh same thing here and then i rolled effect accuracy twice and you're like kill me now um so basically i think you guys kind of get the idea of what i'm trying to go for here right so just kind of roll it up and then keep going up more and more and more so all right so let's see here Let's look through these, see if we have anything good. I'm just going to quickly go through all the runes that I know are good runes, right? I'm just going to see what we got going on here. This one's decent, right? It's really unfortunate because these are three minimum rolls. This is <laughs> a minimum roll in speed, a minimum roll in speed again of three, and a minimum roll of crit rate. Um, at least they're all in good rolls. So this is potentially something, you know, I want speed in headcracker sets usually. Um, so I will roll this up just to see what happens. If I get another like speed roll or something, then this might be a solid rune. If I get some random other stuff, then I probably won't roll it because it does have the minimum rolls on it. All right, so I got a bigger roll in crit rate. So I got 5% crit. So actually this is a decent rune and I would continue to roll this up. Um, definitely decent so all right let's continue let's get some more examples here so again you really don't want to roll flat stat runes right so for this rune slot fat flat defense you really don't want to use it um, for this one you really don't want flat HP for this one you really do not want flat attack um, and the rest you probably want always want crit right here unless you're end game and can get to 100% crit otherwise. And here, effect resistance and effect accuracy are similar, you know, obviously use effect accuracy if you're trying to land debuffs, but. Okay, so let's see if we got anything else really, really nice in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Flat defense, unfortunate, um, and also minimum rolls on. If you guys are curious how rolls work, um, I will link up in the corner, basically a video that goes through and talks all about runes, all about rolls, how that all works. So if you're curious, um, I will link that video up there. Go check it out. But uh, otherwise, let's just keep going through these here. So unfortunate unfortunate this one's not awful I got a solid roll and crit rate um, I don't have I don't have the best rolls on it but crit rate on a squall set is uh, really solid so I mean if I could get some extra crit rate into this rune it would be a solid rune speed okay not terrible, so that one's definitely not terrible. Let's see what else we got in here. I also think about the phantom you have in mind, right? So there's also another way to do it is if I want to look at my my sea conqueror here, I only got six speed in this rune, and you know you need a lot of speed. You know, like a rune like this, 22 speed on a sea conqueror. I'm probably never going to replace that rune. But this one, 6 speed, 5 speed, 14 speed is solid, 16 speed is solid, 4 speed. All right, so these two, I want something with more speed, right? So, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, all right, let's look through these. See if we got anything with speed. I got nothing. Um, I really don't like using purple runes. But you could roll it up and just see if you get multiple speed rolls.
like this one is probably a decent one that you could just check to see real quick if you're going to get speed rule. I should probably just start ignoring these harvests because I do need better runes on my Sea Conqueror. I want wave pass three. Let's just see what happens. Let's see if we can get lucky and get some speed rolls. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. I guess I need to record more while I upgrade runes because um, that's already a speed upgrade. <laughs> All right, so I will actually swap that out. So interesting. So right there, I mean, on my Sea Conqueror, look at this rune I'm using. It's got magic attack. What a this is bad, right? So there, I got a speed upgrade right there. So let's go through and I can drop another couple into here and see what we get. Let's get speed again. Go, go, go. Crit rate. Okay. I mean, still a decent rune. Okay. So that's something I'll probably spend some more time with. And, you know, this one. So let's look to see if I have anything in this slot that has better speed. <laughs> Just so unfortunate with that, with that flat defense, you know. It, it really hurts you in the long run. Um... Because let's look at this. Okay, so I'm only Evo 6 on this guy, right? So physical defense, 37%. Look at my physical defense, 2160. If I swap it out with this one, well, obviously it goes to zero because this is flat magic defense, but you get the point. All right, so let's, uh, I, I really don't want to roll this one off. I mean, it's okay. It does have 10 speed, though. I mean, it does have 10 speed. So you got to, the flat stats are, are kind of awful, but, you know, see, all the ones I have a speed of flat stats on them, unfortunately. This one, too. This one has some speed. So we can boost this one, see what we got going on here. You know, I'm looking for an upgrade here for the Sea Conqueror. You want all the speed you can possibly get. And right now is a good time to go with rune, upgrade runes because we have the, the rune event active, right? So let's hope we get speed. I don't get speed. <laughs> wow, what is happening? All right, so I just got to record when I upgrade runes. Apparently is the fix to everything because I've been using these same runes forever. And uh, this is kind of comical now at this point. All right, so there's nine speed. Um, yeah, so let's, um, it's already an upgrade. Let's uh, hit that replace button. And let's uh, let's boost and see if we can do some more stuff here. Uh, let's see if I have any garbage runes here that I want to get rid of. Solid HP, but just such crap with that flat. The damn flat fizz. What are you going to do with it? Where's that other flat fizz that I had that I just want to get rid of now at this point? Man, that one's 10 speed. 10 speed, though. Where was that one? Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. And when the flat speed, you know, I mean the flat defense, flat stats in general, they just kind of hurt my soul. So uh, let's just get rid of that. Where's that other one I wanted to get rid of that I just uh, rolled up? Really? All right. Well, anyways. So, and how I upgrade runes is I basically... Since I'm an endgame player and I have so many gold runes, I just use epic runes for fodder. And I basically don't even look through my gold runes. Because right now there's no way to sort runes. So it is like extremely aggravating to go through and look through gold runes. Because there's no way to lock them. There's no way to do anything. There's no way to filter them. So right now, I just don't touch my gold runes. Because it's a pain. And I don't want to deal with it. But when I eventually can lock runes, I'll go through and I'll lock runes. Um... So, yeah. All right. So let's hope we get some more speed in here. I doubt I'm going to get more speed, but uh, <laughs> what? What is happening? What is happening? 
Okay, so this is actually going to be a pretty good video. Um, wow. So I've got like massive speed. All right. So, I mean, I couldn't be lucky enough to like continue getting speed rolls, could I? I mean, I couldn't be that lucky. I couldn't just like continuously get them, right? Am I right? Couldn't con I couldn't get any more. No, don't give me any more game. I don't want any more. Just don't give them to me. I don't want any more speed rolls. I don't want any more speed rolls. No more. Okay. Crit. Okay. So, uh, all right. Well, 150 speed now. Uh, we're really approaching the upper limits here for speed on uh, the Sea Conqueror. So, this is what I do for runes, guys. I go through here all day long. You know, you pick out the ones that you want to roll. Like, all right, so now I have a self-healing here. So I would love a self-healing with speed on it. Do we have one? Do we have one? No? No? We don't have one. Flat stat and epic. It's not, it's not good enough. I, I could break it. I could really break my uh, this set here. Because it only gives me 15% health so I could break it and I could put something uh, that has more speed on it right so if I do I have any other decent runes here not really I mean that's actually a solid rune I mean look at that rune that's actually a really good rune so let's roll this boy up just for funsies I mean this is a really good rune Let's, uh, I'm going to avoid the, I'm going to avoid these harvests just for now. Cause I have plenty of other fodder. Sorry, this is going to be kind of a, a long video just, but I just want to show my logic of what I'm doing here as I'm going through this, um, crit rate. I mean, this is still a solid rune, right? And one thing, I think the max amount of stats is four. So I think no matter what I do, I'm going to roll into one of these four now. So, actually an awesome rune. Um, oops. Yeah, so that's a really cool rune. Let's, uh, I really want something with high speed. So let's just see if I have anything that has uh, really high speed on it, right? Let me just look through all of the ones in this slot. Look at that rune. Look at that rune. All right, so this is a cool rune. I'm going to put a level in this. Um, you know what? Screw these harvest runes. I'll just look at them real quick. I don't want to keep these. I don't want to keep them. All right. So let's just see what we get here. Just because it's kind of crazy. There's just so much HP in this rune. Uh, this might be a good Lord of Shadows rune. Um, effect. Whenever I see effect, it's like... Ugh! You know, you hardly ever want effect accuracy. But All right. So we're just going to continue looking through here. We're looking for speed. We're looking for percent HP. And we're looking for speed. That's a decent rune. Like, I would roll uh, two minimum rolls in crit rate, right? Because that's two 3% rolls in crit rate, which is kind of unfortunate. And it's a power rune, which kind of sucks. But other than that, it would be a really solid rune. Another power rune. And it's got two minimum rolls, unfortunately. I, I like to roll runes that are useful. Even though I'm using I, I'm trying to use this as a broken set, I would still like to roll runes that are like useful runes, you know. Like this one is a decent rune for sure. Um, unfortunately, they're all purple rolls, you know, because they these rolls can go even higher. But, uh, like, that would be a decent rune to roll up, right? So let's continue looking. I've got nothing with speed. Nothing with a big speed roll, huh? Heat runes are not the worst. Um, they're not the best. This one might be a good candidate. Okay, so this is a good one. It's an oppression rune. I don't have a lot of good oppression runes. So I'm going to roll this one up here um, and just see what we get. effect okay all right i think that's enough of you guys watching me roll up runes here i just wanted to go through my logic and just kind of show you what i'm doing here you know roll it up look for good rolls and roll it up to three 
See if you continue to get something good. Keep it up. Roll it up to six. Keep on getting good rolls. Roll it up to nine. If you keep on getting crap rolls, abandon and don't waste any more materials. Feed it to another rune and move on with your life. This is how you get very good runes on your account. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Go down there. Smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And have a great day, everyone. See ya.